Understanding, Measure the Angle, a guide for English language learners. Hello, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the phrase, measure the angle. This is a common expression, particularly in mathematics and everyday scenarios involving angles. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what it means and how to use it in different contexts. Measure the angle consists of two key parts, measure and angle. Let's break them down, measure. This verb refers to the action of determining the size, amount, or degree of something, usually using a tool or a standard unit. Angle. An angle is a figure formed by two lines starting from the same point or by two surfaces diverging from a common line. In geometry, it's a fundamental concept. This phrase is mostly used in mathematics and everyday situations where angles are involved. Here are some examples. 1. In mathematics, when you're asked to measure the angle in a geometry problem, you're being asked to find the degree of the angle using tools like a protractor. 2. In everyday language, the phrase can also be used metaphorically, like assessing a situation from different viewpoints or perspectives. Let's look at some practical examples to understand better. Example 1, mathematical. In our geometry class, we learned how to measure the angle of a triangle using a protractor. Example 2, metaphorical. Before making a decision, it's important to measure the angle, considering all possible outcomes. Remembering how to use measure the angle can be easy with these tips. Link it to geometry. Think of a protractor and how it's used to find the angle degree. Think beyond math. Remember that it can also mean assessing different aspects of a situation. Thank you for joining us today. We hope this video has helped clarify the meaning and use of measure the angle. Whether you're solving a math problem or looking at life from different angles, this phrase is a handy tool in your English language arsenal. See you in our next video.